Hey guys, Joe and John here with Petroleum Service Company and today we're going to talk about our extensive line of passenger car engine oils. And our website's designed so that there are many different ways for you to find the perfect product that you need. We have, you can search by weight, uh, but also by application and uh, by certification. Right, Joe. Uh, a lot of different ways to shop it, uh, depending on what the customer knows. Some customers may know their weight being a 520, 530, even model grades, 40 weights and 30 weights. So right. if you want to come in that way, you just hit the shop by weight and uh, find your, the weight you're looking for and it'll give you all your options. We also shop by, you know, the type of oil you're looking for. So right. say you're looking for a full synthetic to maximize your drain intervals, uh, you can shop that way. Uh, we have semi-synthetics for people just looking to extend their drain intervals. Um, you know, most cars nowadays coming direct from OEM, minimum semi-synthetic. So most of the cars on the road today are, are going to fall in that category. So uh, You'll hear like semi-synthetic or synthetic, synthetic blend. Synthetic blend, yeah. correct, correct. And then you also have uh, high mileage. So some of the people that have been holding on their cars, you know, and it's not uncommon now to hold on your car for over 75,000 miles. So Absolutely, people yeah. hang on to them. The cars are built better, the engine oils are built better. So you know, it's not unheard of to see cars out there 150, 200,000 miles. So there's, we actually have a little specific to that. So is the threshold uh, typically around 75,000? 75,000 is where we're going to call it high okay. mileage. So, right. Yeah, so uh, th th it's got some additives in there to help uh, with the seals and different things like that in the engine. So uh, just to help you hang on your car a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, always have the full line of conventional uh, passenger car engine oil, so your, your old mineral base. Uh, type engine oils. Uh, once the service category API SN hit, which is the, the category we're in now, um, most of your oils went semi-synthetic. Uh, Pre-API uh, SN, they are uh, conventional, so you'll see a lot of mineral base. So API SM would be a conventional uh, mineral base. So no synthetics added? No synthetics for the most part now. Okay. Uh, so to meet API SN, they needed to add some synthetic into the oil. Oh, okay. So that's when it changed. And for you motorheads out there, we even have a uh, high performance engine oil. So okay. These oils are designed with an ad pack that have a, a high zinc additives in there. So a lot of cars with older cars with uh, flat tappet type cans call for a high zinc package, uh, zinc being your anti wear. So we got that for racing engines, non detergent engine oil. So a lot of your lawnmowers, your uh, pressure washers, and even some antique vehicles will require an oil with uh, minimal additives or no additives. So. We have a service category specific to that. Similar like even tractors, I believe, some of them. Yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. of your smaller, your low horsepower type engines, uh, that's where you're going to see that, where, where they'll spec out an oil that they do not want additives. And again, we could shop by your API service category. So current API service category being SN ILSAC GF5. Uh, we have a category for that. And then the previous one, API SM ILSAC GF4. And so, what year is uh um, the API service category SN goes from 2011 to current, so 2011 to 2017, and the API SM uh, goes from 2004 to 2011. But again, all of those service categories are backwards compatible. So if you have a car that's a 2004, you can use yes, an API SN, SN type oil. Yes, right. they'll, they'll work in the same engines. And then even some of the specific uh, OEMs are coming out with their own licensed products. So right. we have for General Motors, their Dexos One products. Right. So you could shop General Motors uh, Dexos products uh, by category on our website. All right, great. Yeah, and um, if you're not sure, you know, if you do need maybe a Dexos One or if it meets the specification for high performance, you can always look at our product data sheets and our safety data sheets on the products and they'll give you all the certifications right there. Right. Yeah, and you can always find these in the automotive and fleet lubricant section of our website where we have multiple brands and we have them all the way down from the case all the way up to the 55 gallon drum. You know, for John, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys.